I'm Matt with K15T and we're gonna look at analytics in Confluence. Now analytics are particularly helpful because you get this nice statistical view of created content, comments, user activities, searches, all that good stuff that's happening in Confluence. And while it's nice to know if a page is performing well and that users are interacting well, it's also very useful to see where things maybe aren't working so well. So identifying inactive users or outdated content, finding structural problems or maybe page naming issues. These are all issues that analytics can help us solve and supercharge our content in Confluence. One thing to note is that analytics is only available on Confluence Premium and Confluence Enterprise. So if you're not using one of those, this might be a good reason to upgrade. To see analytics for all of Confluence, you can go right up to the apps menu and select analytics. Now, if you're using Confluence Premium or above, but you're not seeing the analytics option, you might have to reach out to your space admin or your Confluence admin to make sure you have specific access to analytics. So the first thing you'll notice on any analytics page in Confluence is this big, beautiful interactive chart here that shows you how your content has been interacted with and modified over time. You can change the date ranges here. You could even group it by a different time period. So maybe I just want to see sort of monthly how, you know, how are things uh, going? You can also filter by space type. So by default, it only shows those typical spaces, but you could also look at personal spaces or you could look at blog posts just to see how those different things are performing. This is just the beginning. There's a lot of information here, but a few things to note are popular spaces. So here's a list of the spaces that get the most traction, the most views, the most interaction all across Confluence. If you're looking for a particular space and you're not seeing it here, chances are you might need to improve the content in that space a bit to get more eyes on it. Some of the reasons a space might not be popular is maybe users can't find it. Try renaming some pages and restructuring the content so people can find it better. Or maybe it just wasn't communicated. So maybe create a blog post and let everybody know, hey, this great space is out there. Or maybe you just haven't linked to it from other important pages and spaces. So go out there and add some great links. The active readers area is also very useful because you can see users who are actively creating, reading, commenting, and searching pages, and you can filter things around to get the view to look just the way you want. You can also use this view to identify users who aren't creating as much or commenting less. And this is great because maybe you can identify what the problem is. Like maybe they never got an introduction to Confluence, or maybe they're creating their content in a different tool and then bringing it over and you can kind of correct that. Maybe they don't have the right permissions to add comments, or maybe it's just an inactive user who maybe left the organization and they need to be removed to get those analytics cleaned up anyway. The popular searches panel is also very interesting because you can see what it is people have on their minds. What are they searching for in Confluence? There's a lot of good stuff here, but I'm very interested in the click-through rate. So the click-through rate is the percentage of people who have searched for a term who actually click a page because they think it's going to be useful to them. This might indicate to you, if you're seeing a very low rate, that you need to rename some pages to catch people's eyes and show them that that has the information they need. Or maybe you need to create a new overview page because perhaps the search term is really generic and there's too many results to find the right one. One other cool thing is that most of these views allow you to download the data as an Excel spreadsheet using the ellipses menu. So that's cool if you wanna go crunch some numbers, make some charts, all that good stuff. Now, if you wanna access analytics for a particular space, you can go to that space and use the analytics option in the sidebar. If you don't see it there, again, you might need to get permissions for that particular space. You'll notice this view looks similar to the Confluence wide analytics view, but there's some key differences. First off, you can see popular pages here, which is great to see which ones are performing. And for those that aren't, you might wanna check to see if they're still relevant and important. Maybe they need to be deleted or archived. See if they're visible to everybody. Make sure they're not restricted, make sure they're linked properly and communicated well, and check to see if when somebody searches for that page, they can actually find it. Maybe you need to update the title. There's also the most active contributors view here, which is really cool because you can see maybe a topic or a collection of pages that are very important to a particular team member. Or maybe you'll find someone who's not in the team who's being very active in the space. They might be a key stakeholder or a feedback resource for you. Maybe there's a particular page that you are interested in. You wanna know, are people looking at it? Is this useful for them? Should I improve it? If you look right under the title, you'll see the number of people who have viewed this page. But if you click that, you get even more information about what is going on. So you'll see the total number of views on that page and the number of users who have looked at it, as well as the comments. And then you can click view analytics to get even more information. This is a great place to see who has looked at the page, when they looked at it, and what version of the page they looked at. 
over time, as we update our content, we want to make sure that people are looking at the latest version so they have the most recent information. You can also look at the attachments on the page to see which ones are really useful and a lot of people are using and which ones maybe aren't. Maybe they need to be done away with. So whether you're looking for analytics on all of Confluence, just a space, or a particular page, you have the tools in your hands to make your content amazing for everybody on your team. At K15T, we're all about finding the very best ways to use Confluence. So if there's more things you wanna do or more things you wanna explore, head over to our YouTube channel, just search for K15T, and you'll find our series all about best practices in Confluence and many other resources as we continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.